With season 12 only a few days away, we're coming close to what could be one of the best seasons for Apex we've had in a while. We have an incredible new legend, Olympus is coming back better than ever, and plenty other balance changes. But with that may be a change to aim assist. Imperial Howe was streaming the other day and he had this to say about controller players. And Pathfinder bro, this controller Pathfinder, no audio fucker behind me. Love it. Beautiful game if I Scifix, What's his input months. device got to do with it, bro? Yeah, oh, come on. Come on, bro. Why are you being quiet, bro? Just, let, just, just watch. Just wait. Just wait for the updates, boys. Just wait. What the fuck's the update got to do in there? Just wait for the updates. But is Amos's actually a problem? Before we get into that, if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and leave a like on the video. And if you want to see more content like that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications that we get notified every time I upload a new video. I want to make it clear that this video is not an attack on console players. I'm well aware that majority of gamers are on controller on console. And seeing as I'm an Apex player, this is about Apex Legends, but it is strictly towards controller players who play Apex on PC. Now, the conversation around aim assist has gotten so bad that Jay Biebs, one of the lead devs for Respawn, had to make a twit longer explaining to players about the issue with aim assist. And what he stated is that the best of the best controller players are not beating the best of the best mouse and keyboard players with the prowler up close at any sort of crazy rates. Now I'm going to get back to that later. Aim assist functions two different ways. Firstly, what it does is it helps slow down your crosshair whenever you are on a target. This is how people mainly see aim assist as simply just crosshair slowdown. But aim assist has another function. What aim assist also does is it helps you keep track of that target whenever it is moving. Now this is where a lot of the issue comes with aim assist and this is called rotational aim assist. This is also why some people say the aim assist is aimbot, but I feel like that's a pretty big exaggeration. But the way rotational aim assist works is if you are moving in any sort of way, if it is your left stick or your right stick, aim assist will be triggered as long as you are on that target. And you don't even need to be directly on the target. Aim assist functions as it has kind of like a hitbox that extends past each player. And if you are within that hitbox, you will have aim assist. Now, another big problem is a lot of players are now playing with drift on their controller, and it's just a very subtle one. But what this allows to happen is it allows rotational aim assist to act more responsively. This clip right here shows someone whose hands aren't even on the controller and they're still getting aim assist because of the stick drift. Another thing that's important to know is recoil control. Now, a lot of players on controller may say that re controlling recoil is still pretty hard, which that is true to a point. But the way they control recoil and the way that mouse and keyboard controls recoil on average will be different. Recently, a creator by the name of Torj, if I pronounce his name wrong, I apologize. He discovered how recoil control in Apex Legends is broken. And what he means by this is you're actually able to strafe out your horizontal recoil and it makes it incredibly easy to control. The caveat to this is you need to have smooth aim when doing so. Now for mouse and keyboard players, having smooth aim is not something that is easy to achieve as we don't move our arm at a constant velocity. Whereas on controller, when you add aim assist, it is much easier and much more likely to have smooth aim, therefore you're virtually eliminating recoil. And because I know I'm going to have a lot of controller players who disagree with that notion just now, I highly suggest that you guys go watch his video and understand it. You will see how actually it's very easy to control recoil when you are strafing. So here are some buffs and nerfs that I would make to controller. Starting off on a positive note, here are the buffs that I would make. Honestly, everyone's been saying this, but moving while looting, that needs to be something that should have been in the game in the first place. I don't know why controller players cannot do this. I think the ability to shield swap needs to be streamlined a lot better. I'm not really sure how they could do this exactly, but you guys are more than welcome to leave ideas in the comment section below. Also, they should add some sort of contextual tap button, kind of like they have on Call of Duty. For any of you who haven't played Call of Duty, the way that it works is it would prioritize your interact and your reload in certain situations. So if you're playing behind a knockdown shield and you ran out of ammo or you wanted to reload early, you could reload without interacting with the down player first. The reason why keyboard and mouse doesn't have this issue is because we have our own separate reload and our own separate interact button. But honestly, you can make them the same, the same way, but you just need to add some sort of contextual tap technology, kind of like Warzone has. Lastly, what I would do is I would remove aim assist from players who are knocked. On my TikTok, I hear players say how aim assist grabs the knockdown player instead of prioritizing the guy who's still alive. 
Also, if you're not following my TikTok, what are you doing? The link is down in the description. But as I was saying, this would make it a lot easier for controller players to play in close situations where players are knocked. That way you're not getting a constant drag on players who are knocked down on the ground. Now on to the nerfs. As I stated earlier, GB said that controller is not beating out keyboard and mouse at close range at any sort of crazy rates. I think one thing that could quell the fire between this feud that we have between aim assist and mouse and keyboard is if they simply just gave us some sort of numbers or how good their accuracy is or how much they're winning at this close of a range if they could give us some sort of number i think a lot of that could end some of this rival now if controller is actually leading in all of those metrics i just stated here are my solutions to fixing the aim assist problem honestly the crosshair slowdown when trying to acquire a target is not an issue at all i don't find that to be problematic in any way shape or form i understand how controlling a thumbstick can be quite difficult as i've played controller for over 16 years and i switched to mouse and keyboard with that being said rotational aim assist does fundamentally need a fix in my opinion the fact that you can have a subtle stick drift on your controller and get tracking that's more responsive than someone who's using their arm to aim kind of seems unfair so what i would do is i would reduce the amount of rotational aim assist that you have while you are on a target this will require more input from the user on the controller when it comes to tracking a target and honestly i do feel like 40 percent aim assist is still a bit too much that's really close to doing half the work and again this is only about rotational aim assist and i want to make sure that everyone who's watching this video make sure they make sure that we are aware that i am talking about controller on pc solely now the one thing that i would change that it does affect console players is is when they are in PC lobbies that they play at the same exact aim assist levels whether it gets changed or not as other controller players. I do find it rather problematic that a console player can get into a PC lobby and have stronger aim assist than the PC player. Now, granted, it is subjective whether it feels stronger or not on PC, but objectively, 0.6 aim assist is stronger than 0.4 aim assist. And those are the changes that I would make. But at the end of the day, that responsibility does not fall on me. Respawn is the one who gets the final decision. Nor do I think people voicing their opinions about aim assist is going to promote or drive the devs to nerf or buff aim assist, which either or. Devs have notoriously been favored towards the majority of players and the majority of players are on controller so no amount of complaining from any sort of mouse and keyboard players is actually going to change anything for any of you who may feel like that is the case if aim assist does happen to get nerfed or adjusted in any sort of way that is because they felt objectively that it needed to change and it is not responsible for the mouse and keyboard players but what do you guys think do you think aim assist could use some sort of adjustment while also buffing controller at the same time or do you guys honestly just want to leave it alone and again if you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and leave a like and if you want to see more content like this hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications that way you get notified every time i upload a new video and i will see you guys in the next one